something in our empire. Was hoping to get up on here and talk about a victory over the Bears, but you saw the game. It didn't turn out that way. Uh, kudos to the Bears. I mean, they hung tough. We were opposing our will, but they didn't give up. And once Justin Field started going, uh, we just couldn't recover for that. So, yeah, credit to the Bears. Good game. And uh, overall, I'm not mad that the 49ers lost. There's really only two things that bother me about the game. All the other stuff, which I'll get to in a second, that can be fixed. But the two things that bother me was, one, I owe a co-worker lunch tomorrow. But more importantly, to the health and status of Elijah Mitchell, because he got dinged up. Uh, I believe it was a knee injury. Didn't come back into the game. Um... I hear he might be out long term, but that hasn't been confirmed, and I'm sure we'll know more by uh, Monday. Now, overall, as far as the game, first half, um, the Trey Lance era officially begun. Saw some good things from Trey uh, with his arm. He had a nice couple throws. Um, you saw him extend some plays with his legs, and you saw some things out there verifying why the 49ers traded so much last year to get this guy. And we also saw some stuff that it's obviously he still need to grow in, in some areas. Um, he missed a couple throws. Uh, he threw an interception. Um, yeah, it, it's basically, and we all knew this because he only has a handful of experience both college and pro uh, this could be a recurring thing it, um at the very least you know especially for the beginning part of the season uh he's gonna do some good he's gonna do some bad and that just comes with the territory when you only have so much experience under your belt now having said that the one thing that's gonna help trey lance out is that He's surrounded by a Super Bowl caliber team on offense and defense. So it's not like he has to put this team on his shoulder constantly throughout the season. So he doesn't have to worry about that. Um, just play smart and try not to lose us the game. But this wasn't all. I'm not, And I'm definitely not saying this was all on Trey Lance or whatever because early on in the first half, we left. A lot of points out on the field. We should have went in the halftime up 21 to nothing. But, I mean, Debo Samuel had a fumble. Um, a drive stalled and we had the punt. And no matter how much of an advantage you have over another team, if you, as a game goes on, leave points out on the field, that keeps the window open for the other team to possibly come back and make something happen. And that's what the Bears did. And I thought early on defensively, we were getting all over the field. Nick Bosa looking like Nick Bosa. Fred Warner looking in season form. Hufanga, oh my goodness. He had himself a game. 11 tackles, an interception, a couple tackles for losses. That boy was all over the field, so he had a nice start to his second year in the NFL, and hopefully he can build on that going forward. Yeah, we, we should have had this game, but could have, would have, should have. When we came out in the second half, I was really hoping we would have got a touchdown, but... You know, we ended up settling for a field goal. Now it's all the points we will score for today. And 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 I kept saying, and right then I said to myself, okay, all game, I mean, we've been opposing our will on offense and defense, and we only have 10 points to show for it. So my concern right there was, can a defense who's been doing a good job thus far, with the exception of the penalties, can the defense step up and, you know, get the ball back for the offense? And it 
it just didn't turn out that way. Shit just started going all bad. I mean, just personal foul calls. <laughs> uh, and then once Justin Fields started going and he hit Dante Pettis of all people. A man we drafted a few years ago in the second round. You you knew he had a big grin on his face when he was wide open and Justin Fields hit him. But to the victor belongs the spoils. But yeah, once Justin Fields start going, I mean, he was making plays, our offense, and then on, on offense, and I don't know if it was because Elijah Witchell wasn't out there, but we really couldn't do much on offense, and then the Bears totally had the momentum going for them in the second half, and we couldn't overcome it. So that's that. Now, again, it's not the end of the world. You know, the penalties, the mistakes, the, the turnovers, all that stuff can be fixed. So you just got to go back to basics and go back to practice and just, just try to get better. Um, the, we saw the Rams go down Thursday. Uh, Arizona went down uh, this afternoon against the Chiefs and the Seahawks, they play tomorrow against the Broncos, Russell Wilson's return. Um, so it's still 16 games left to be played. So it, it's a bummer that we couldn't jump out the gate with a victory, but it's still a lot of football left to be played. So, I mean, just go back to basics. You just got to limit the turnovers Trey Lance, just learn learn from this game. You can take a lot from this game. There was some good, there was some bad, and but regardless, the experience will hopefully help him out and have him more, you know, ready next week when the Niners take on the Seahawks. So yeah, um, I, I guess that's it for me. Um, Niners, down to the Bears, 19-10. Good game, Bears fans. And uh, Niner Empire will be all right. Just got to go back to the drawing board and just got to get better. It's nothing to it. So uh, y'all know the drill. I'll get with y'all next time. Late.